You see that big happy guy back there? That's your gorilla. He's your gratitude gorilla. And he's, he's your best friend. He's your buddy. As long as he's happy, you're happy. He's, he's the big things in your life. He's these things that really, really matter. He's like your house and your health, your relationships, your, your job, your car. He's how well your kids are doing in school. He's your dog. And if you're really lucky, he's your motorcycle. But what happens when the gorilla turns his back on you? Do you remember 2008? One morning you woke up, your home was $250,000 underwater, your 401k was plummeting, you either lost your job or somebody you know lost their job, and gas, five bucks a gallon. Remember five bucks a gallon? Gorilla gratitude is a different attitude. It's a way of looking at things differently and expressing your gratitude to the people that you love. As, world, as, as well as the world around you. It's about not taking people for granted. Last year in my pursuit for happiness, I did a 90-day gratitude challenge on Facebook. And every day I would just choose something different, both gorilla and gorilla, and I would write a little blurb about it and why I was grateful for it. And it changed the way I looked at the world. You know why pencils are awesome? Because somebody figured out how to put this black stuff inside of a piece of wood so that you could write and draw with it. And then they put that little pink thing on the end. In case you ever wrote down something mean, you could just erase it. <laughs> a cork, cork works super good for some things, but for my tasty beverages, my choice is a twist top lid. You just simply twist it off, take a sip, twist it back on and save it for later. And for that, I'm grateful. Now. Road work, what the hell are you talking about, Matt? Well, listen, hear, hear me out. Road work, without road work, no roads. <laughs> yeah. No roads, it's gonna be really hard to get around unless you have a monster truck. Yeah, unless you have a monster truck. And that sounds awesome at first, but monster trucks get one mile to the gallon, and imagine putting groceries inside of a vehicle with tires taller than you. Now, I'm super grateful for stoplights because I ride a scooter a lot of the time, and it's really awesome to be, go, be able to go through an intersection and not get ran over by a monster truck. <laughs> it's a really cool thing. Imagine the, the, the chaos without stoplights. Now it's Wednesday morning, you hear the trash truck coming, and you jump out of bed, and you run to the curb in your boxers, and you pull the trash cans to it. You narrowly avoid disaster, and you get there in the nick of time. Well, imagine the disaster if the trash truck never came. Now, I'm a fellow that likes to keep my nails trimmed and beautiful for my lady. <laughs> this, this simple little device makes it really easy to do that. And as a bonus, my pretty lady, she ties that red ribbon around it so that it's easy to find. <laughs> now, why would I be grateful for trash on the beach? Because it's an opportunity. I'm going to tell you a story. My dog Poncho and I were walking on Ocean Beach, this place that I am totally in love with. And we saw some trash, and I saw a bag, and I picked it up, and I started putting it in it. And the most interesting thing happened. All of a sudden, I had a bunch of helpers, and every single one of them thanked me for that. And in the end, we left this beautiful place just a little bit more beautiful. Now, the next two slides, or no, expressions of gratitude. This is my favorite part. I love expressing my gratitude, and it's the part that means the most. It's letting people know that we're grateful for them. This, this, I left this note for my wife right after we got married, and it says, Matt and Renee sitting in a tree, K-I-S-S-I-N-G. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes baby in a... Oh, wait, not that. Then comes a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, we, we have enough kids already. Now... I found this note under the toilet a little while ago. It says, thank you, honey, for cleaning the toilets. You win the award. <laughs> Best toilet cleaner. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I am the best toilet cleaner, and I keep on doing it because she keeps showing gratitude. So these are what I call spot cards. I keep them with me everywhere that I go. They have a quote on the back, and I, I give them to unsuspecting people that give me either good service or a smile. And, and 
you know, we run into people every single day that make our lives easier and better. And usually we just let it go, right? We just kind of let it go. But, but why? Why not say, hey, thank you. Hey, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. You can change their day, and in turn, it'll change your day. Can we make the world a better place? Yeah. Can we make it more beautiful? Yeah. Can we fall more in love with our partners? Yeah. Yes. We need more guerrilla fighters for this revolution, folks. Join me.